Yesterday, I had an opportunity to speak with Governor DeSantis. I also had an opportunity to connect with South Carolina Governor McMaster and Georgia Governor Kemp to help understand um, what their concerns were and to identify any unmet needs that they may foresee. Um, and we'll remain in close contact with all of them in the hours and the days to come as Hurricane Edela, Edelia makes landfall and moves across these states. Uh, as the president said to Governor DeSantis in his own conversations yesterday, FEMA and the entire federal family are activated to support the people of Florida. The president also quickly approved an emergency declaration in advance of the storm in Florida, turning on the many tools that are available at my disposal to provide the governor any support or resources he may need in advance of landfall and then after. This allows me to pre-stage people, equipment, and resources in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, and I have done just that. We have pre-positioned uh, different types of resources across all three states to include several incident management assistance teams, our urban search and rescue teams, our disaster survivor assistance teams, and they are all ready to pivot to the most impacted areas immediately after the storm passes. We also have warehouses filled with commodities like food, water, blankets, and medical supplies that are re uh, ready to rapidly move into the impacted area at the state's request. But we are not in this alone. We have an entire federal family that is postured to support. Our National Response Coordination Center here in Washington, D.C. is fully activated, and this means that there are several hundred staff from across the federal family that are working together to support any requests for federal assistance. Uh, we have our partners from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers who are pre-positioned to support any power restoration needs. Uh, Health and Human Services is assisting with evacuations from hospitals and assisted living centers. And the Red Cross has 50,000 meals to support the immediate needs as requested and has pre-staged shelter support to supplement the 19 shelters that are already opened by the state. And this is a really important point that I want to talk about next. It's on preparedness. And again, I really ask for all of your help to help me ensure the people in the storm's path get this message. While we are engaged uh, with our states to prepare for the path of this storm, it's critical that the people that are in the path of this storm are also prepared. And I know that the people of Florida are no stranger to storms, and I encourage all Floridians to take this storm seriously. This storm is very strong and is expected to strengthen to a major hurricane by the time it makes landfall due to high surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. This means heavy winds, high winds, heavy rain, and a forecasted 12-foot storm surge in some of the areas along the western coast. This storm surge, this is one of the highest risk parts of a hurricane and is especially problematic along the west coast of Florida due to the underwater geography. The coastal shelf gets shallow very quickly, which increases the amount of the storm surge, putting more people at risk. Very few people can survive being in the path of major storm surge, and this storm will be deadly if we don't get out of harm's way and take it seriously. So I ask all Floridians to be vigilant and heed the warnings of your local officials. Have a plan to communicate with your family and your loved ones. Charge your cell phones, your batteries, any devices that you may have, and ensure that you are receiving emergency alerts. And most important, please listen to the warnings of local officials. If they tell you to evacuate, please do so immediately. And remember, you don't have to evacuate far. If you are in a storm surge warning area, it could mean just traveling 10 or 20 miles to get out of the most significant um, impact areas. It does not mean having to travel hundreds of miles to get out of the storm's path. And finally, we are all in this together. I ask that you check on your neighbors, especially those who are older adults, people living with disabilities, or may need additional assistance.